Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to have a look at Metal Mutation. What is Metal Mutation? Metal Mutation is a action, a 3D action roguelike slash roguelite where we as a cyborg together with an AI are supposed to save mankind. You know, the usual. There's some interesting music going on. I had a look at the screenshot. I had a look at the trailers. Nice artistic art style. Interesting looking gameplay, question mark. But that's pretty much all I know. This game is pretty much coming out at the day of this recording or the next day. So I assume this is pretty much the final version of the demo that we are going to have a look at. And without further ado, I stated everything I know. How about together we are going to have a look at this game, at this demo, experience the first impressions and as usual at the end of the videos I'm going to give you guys my honest feedback. Let's hit start the game. I'm also playing with the controller by the way. So first off, <laughs> look at this in the bottom right corner. Confirm or well confer M. So interesting line there with that. <laughs> but uh, that is just a side note. So. Let's hit the first slot. Oh. In 2084, in the future cyberpunk era, techno... Um, something is cut off. Will be forested and educated by so... Cut off. A large companies, while well, those who are excluded are... Cut off island. A mysterious base station crashed. And a serious abnormal phenomenon... After investigation, it was found to be related to a type of nanoparticle. Cut off. Monopolies hope to achieve a complete mastery of the technique of controllable. As a result, a large nanoparticle research base has been built on the island. From the sea to the sky and the island of Farbavna, some new research results greatly stimulated the cyborg liberation movement, I guess, I don't know. The latest techniques will reinforce the oppression against the entire cyborg community. After carefully, a uh, careful planning, cyborg liberation. While the uh, uh, while the two sides were fighting fiercely, a large number of mutant metal monsters appeared from nowhere and. Well, the music is surprisingly loud. And challenges that... Oh, wait, is that us? Please move the character as indicated in the prompts. Please view the corner icon in the lower right corner to see how they use... How to use skills. Fair enough. Okay, well, this is way um, quieter, which is fine to me, than the over game. Um, uh, well, the intro music and the main menu music. Also, I think our AI in the upper right corner just said something in, like, you know, some subtitles, also our character. Uh, I wasn't even able to read that as I, I, do I need to state that like wow usually in this series here on this channel a lot of demos seem to have this issue where and like when you start up the game the subtitles are over way too fast but this is legitimately a new record usually it's more like I barely managed to get to the end of the phrase before you know the next phrase is being shown here I wasn't even able to read like to half the sentence and I was trying way better, way harder than usual to read that in time. And also like we have seen all the cutoffs there, right? Well, that, that is rough. Uh, sorry, I have nothing else to say there. Uh, something about uh, nanopedicles, um, a cyborg rover unification liberal force or something. I legitimately have not the slightest idea what the game tried to set, a, uh, set us up there. I mean, that's all, I mean, it's good that there's story. I ha like to have a reason in video games to do things while even heading out. But, you know, let's just say this could have been conveyed um, in general. Just Also, apparently the game keeps saving. Like, look at the upper left corner. Save, save. This has been plotting up, uh, plopping up since we started this, hasn't it? Please move the characters indicated in the prompts. Yeah, okay, that's what I did. Um, that's my prompts. I'm playing with the controller. Is there a button for me to actually... This game officially stated that this has full controller support. And so far, I can use my controller. I do like in the button right corner that the button prompts apparently noticed that I'm playing with a controller. Let's actually see if I switch to keyboard and mouse. It actually switches to those prompts. 
That is usually an oversight in a lot of demos, but this game has that down. That's nice. I have no idea how to close that prompt on the left. So let's actually just hit all the buttons for now. So light attack with X, it seems. I would assume LT is like a heavy counter. Okay. RB seems to be like blocking. Feels a little bit... Okay, that locks you in, to say the least. RT. Interesting. She shoots a projectile with us. If I press Y, we have that. Okay. And A is like a dodge roll. Oh, which also has some charges and then cooldown. Interesting mechanic, but yeah, that makes sense on cooldowns. Fair enough. So, interesting that, so to speak, the heavy attack on LT and X. Um, very opposite from each other, but I guess that means because that is cooldown abilities. I would assume that further on we can customize pretty much all on these different buttons or, well, the abilities on the buttons. I hope so. So again, I'm going to use my mouse because I think the game is not prepared for us to wait. What if I go on my controller? Select. Start doesn't do anything. Okay. So I guess the game seem the, doesn't seem to be prepared for us to... Close off this tutorial window. Select is essentially our level up screen, our obtained um, from stages, I guess, items, or just in general, obtained from the shelter. Our skills, I suppose, fair enough. Oh, now pressing start does something. Back to the game, fair enough. There we go. Okay, gotta get used to those. The game keeps saving the upper left corner. What is this, though? B. A Daedalus Dynamics trademark mission makes humans great again. Daedalus Dynamics uh, copyrighted trademark vision create a better life for people in the 22nd century. Okay, looks like some corporate business going on. Oh, the, I guess we. I, and it doesn't seem like I can change the camera perspectives, which is very sad. Cause having looked at the start of of the game, the intro sequence there, I think this is what it hinted at, right? So this is where we started. Because I think these are the containers from the intro sequence. Unfortunately, the camera perspective has been essentially from the view I'm looking from my cam uh, character's perspective right now. Would be nice to turn that around to see that, but fair enough. So I guess a few people would miss that. Regardless, let's head out. The music is kicking. There seems to be an enemy. I'm just pressing buttons. Oh, well, that didn't hit at all. Oh, wait, that's a pickup. Never mind. B, fair enough. That's on me. Select items to improve abilities. All right, weapon skill, rotating iron flower, fire armor, and dash explosive. Weapon skill, rotating iron flower. Weapon skill deals firing, rotating attacks, and you can control this movement while it's rotating. Spin splash, uh, spin slash base damage 70%. Fire armor, improves the adaptability to the fire element, increases the damage dealt by fire elemental attacks by 10%, and boosts self resistance to fire element by 10%. There's a chance to ignite enemies after advancement. Okay, dash explosive. Enhances the effect of dash skill. When ultimate evasion is triggered, leaves an explosive that deals damage on an area after a delay. Explosive bomb damage deals 300%. Um, I guess something like an ultimate evasion is something when we do it just right before we get hit. Let's take this, right? Maybe? So dash ability deals an aim. Our shield also changed its color, fair enough. All right, let's see. Let's see what this game has to offer. So camera change. Okay, looks like... Oh, there we go. Immediately, we have some roguelite and roguelike elements. We can choose where we want to go through. Apparently, to an ice artifact, Portesis debugging area. Or uh, to another fire artifact, unloading platform, I guess. Let's try fire as we started with this. After upgrade, select function modification to improve something. Let me screen. Oh, there we go. Combat. Got it. I will totally not... Oh, man, that's... Oh, man, we are very much locked in. There's a commitment. If you hit an attack, you are... Better be ready. Oh, uh, how ca Um, how do I aim? Doesn't seem to be, like, twin stick. Optimized. Okay, heavy attack works good. Oh, great. So I'm gonna... Oh, wow. Oh, great. Yeah, get up. Oh, no. Uh, RB. No, that's the block. Can I hit this guy? There we go. And RT. Nope, that's... Uh, well, it works too. And clear. So I want to actually... Uh, we have some currency. Combat level increased. Money detection carrier function normal. Money signal recovery connection. Room map displayed. Okay, that's attention. The Valkyrie system. Can't read this in time. Me, who are you? Where am I? How did I end up here? Yeah, that's a good question. So I'm wondering something. 
I like how fluent the switch between controller and mouse keyboard is, but what was my super attack? Was it F? No, it was right click, right? Oh, that cost energy, 200. Wait, we gotta wait a bit until we have... So we have the, uh, three different factors that have an influence on our abilities. First off, just regular cooldown time. Then we have abilities with charges, and then we have abilities that require energy as well. That's a lot. Okay, right click. So I want to try something. No, okay, it seems like we, if we lock in this ability, we can't change our direction. We're going to shoot that ability to whatever we're looking at, and we can't seem to um, work with that. So I want to change, uh, keep an eye out some uh, on something. My God, my English is perfect today, as usual. We also have our stats in the bottom left corner. That's nice to have. So I want to keep an eye out because so far this is always something that's very hard to convey in videos. So far it seems like we're pretty much locked in in combat. So good thing is while we do a combo with a light attack for example, we pretty much almost always have the option to just dash away as long as we have a dash charge. That's good, so, but other than that, like, these things, you just stop movement and you just keep hitting until the animation is over, which feels a bit stilted, frankly. I'm very much happy that at least the dodge function op uh, options you out of that. So that's an animation cancel, nice to have. Is that an option way over there? No. Okay, let's move on. I keep talking, but I don't keep playing, right? Let's go. Okay, enemies seem to spawn, that's fine. Super power fire! Yeah, okay. Decent, oh, great. Great dodge! Well, my dodge didn't work there at all. Not sure what I did wrong. Some currency, so what's our life? It's in the bottom left corner, kind of 336. Fair enough, run. I'm not gonna run, I'm gonna attack. Oh God. Okay, gotta use this, I really gotta... I'm surprised that the game doesn't really teach you the individual buttons or just doesn't unlock you them step by step. Interesting that you get it, given all the abilities right from the get go. That's a bit, but uh, sure, that's a skill thing. You have options. It seems like someone has to get used to when they are appropriate to use. And I only assume that RB is something like a block. Don't know how that is supposed to work, frankly. Okay, let's use this again. There we go! There we go, attack! Okay, just basic, uh, basic slashing and the LRT is so far our biggest benefactor. But the occasional shooting is nice as well. The button layout, the default one, is very interesting because I have range attacks on Y and RT. Which, they are pretty close to each other, I see that being in line, but X and LT for essentially uh, fast attack and heavy attacks seems interesting, but again... Oh, what is that? Oh, like a... Okay, that, that was an attack, like a finish or something. But I guess I assume that as we change our attacks, that is just accommodating that we could have something completely different on LT, maybe? There we go. They set the enemy. Thank you. Some. Oh, that, is that in spawner? Didn't see that. Maybe. That. Oh, great. If we run into this, we gain damage. Okay, just one, though. Interesting. So, not too much. Not too punishing. So, when we hit this last enemy, it kind of felt like my last attack, this down slash on the ground, didn't hit him. But maybe that was just my assumption. Can we. Oh, nice! We can destroy crates. I'm always a fan of that. So, fire artifact, I assume? Nice. Weapon skill, rotating iron flower. We had that before. Fire armor, we had this before. And Valkyrie, scattering flame. Valkyrie throws five explosives forward, dealing fire damage to enemies in the area. So, that is our RT ability. Yeah, and rotating iron flower is LT. Spin slash. Weapon skill deals fire, rotating attacks, and you can control its movement. That sounds nice. That seems like a lot of damage, RT. Let's get this, maybe. Oh, that's this one. Okay, nice. Oh, who are you? Hello, sir. Brazen face. Wow. We meet again, my pal. I found some good words. Take a look and see if there's anything you fancy. 
Well, we have money. Sold items can be returned. Purchase, okay. So everything costs 25. Anti-reflective coating increases the rate to land a termination skill. Lasts for two rooms. I have no idea what a termination skill is. Holographic mouse. Upon taking damage, summons a holographic mouse to attract enemy fire for 10 seconds. Cool down 120 seconds. This effect lasts for two rounds. Interesting. Or end or frost injector. Increases crit rate by 15%. Lasts for two rounds. Ah, all of these just last for two rounds. I guess I'm going to keep my money to hopefully buy something that is permanent. Let's move on. Okay, XP or Z cash? Control liberty, I guess maybe XP? In challenges, Z cash will be cleared of the death. I couldn't meet the rest, fair enough. Okay. Explosive attack! There we go, oh, big guy, big guy! We're gonna use this, and this kind of works as a retreat though. Okay, hit, 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 heavy. I'm actually wanna see if they hit me, if I can. I think that was a perfect wait, okay. Gonna wait until they attack. Yeah. Seems like the timing on this is something. No, that was not quite sure when the ti perfect timing for one of these perfect weights is supposed to be. Okay, let, let's train a bit more. So you're gonna blink up. So very nice from these, at least from these these mouse enemies. I don't know. Nope. Nope. I want to try to get one of these perfect weights in. No, I want to learn the mechanics. Nope, also not. Maybe if I invade into an enemy? Ah, okay, maybe that's it. And then we spawn this explosive. Okay, well, that didn't quite work as intended. Oh, dodge. Oh, the round... Okay, we cleared this spawner and the enemies disappeared. Output, I'm Tina. Tina, you're smart. Something. Output, output, you're currently performing a mission from Dr. Garcia. Mission objective something. What data center? I can't re remember anything. Also interesting that her subtitles are on the upper right corner. Also like kind of like squeezed together while our subtitles are on the bottom. What is this though? Okay. Can improve, go up the stairs. Deadless Dynamics Employee Regulations. First, you will be monitored the entire time while you are at work. Those who hide from the monitoring will be regarded as absent. Second, a report will be written every hour. Those who fail to submit it in time will be regarded as absent. Third, sick leave should be reported to the headquarters CEU for approval one month in advance. Fourth, to go to the toilet every day, you will need to get a toilet permit in advance. Fifth, you will need to be injected with an energizer promptly if your health is lower than 80. And you will need to purchase the authentic product produced by Center Medicine, trademark, at your own expense. Uh, fair. Can I open the gate? No. Okay, this way then. Fair enough. Is this something? Well, I can hit it. Oh, that's supposed to be an enemy. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna shoot at you. Is he just going to... Uh, okay. Oh, oh, great. Oh, not sure if I want to stay close to that. Shoot, please. Okay, there we go. I picked up something. Select. Can I have a look at this? Shuffle privilege. Randomly refresh the available reward items once. Please note that items will be cleared after ex exiting the stage. Okay, looks like this is something I can activate under um, some kind of circumstances. When I get new items to choose. Also, make sure to get these items. Nice. I think I got coins and the other thing is probably XP. Fair enough. Hello. How are you guys doing? There we go. Super attack. Fire, fire, fire. That was a bow. Okay. Let's use this. Go. And I hit you guys. Got you. Perfect. Clear. There's something? No. What is this? Hello, B. 20 XP, sure. Conti. Hey, rookie, sign your name here to get the co company benefits or something? Oh, that's the person, Conti. No day off is guarant guaranteed on Saturday. And no day off is guaranteed on Sunday. Stop complaining. If you don't want to buy it, there are still plenty of people out there who want to buy it. I mean, that that's grammar. Almost as good as mine. <laughs> Uh, last for two rounds, uh, milestone bonus. Gain 100 Z cash when killing monsters with a termination skill. Again, our termination skill is this B button, right? 
Gain 50 Z cash upon killing the target with air attack. I don't... There are air attacks? Interesting. I mean, this costs only 10. That seems to be permanent. So I guess by this. I mean, we had a termination skill prompt once. Let's buy the other thing too. I mean, these two upgrades seemed... Oh, wait. No, they are just for this room then, right? I think. Oh, no. Let's hope we get these triggered at least once. Or is this already over <laughs> this stage? Fire artifact vending machine. Press to enter lounge wind artifact. Um, I mean, fire artifact is probably the smartest to scale with our things, but I want to find out what the vending machine is about. After upgrade, select function modification to improve. You over there, come and show some respect to the big sis, I think. 1xp or something? Meta bank. Sold items cannot be returned. How do I sell items, by the way? Recover steep. Recover 50% of the current maximum HP. I mean, we... Oh, we are actually hurt, so that might be smart. Zero. Innovative loan. Ooh. Obtain 200 Z cash immediately, but loses 5 Z cash when taking damage. Invalid in shelter. Repromise, no injury, no refund. We will lose only up to 100 Z cash and there will be no... No E. So we get 200 for, for free and we lose 5 if we take damage and only to a maximum of 100? I mean, I'm not sure if there's a catch to it, because I can't read the full text, but... I mean, in theory, that is just plainly good. Let's take this last ship. Boost main body attack... Oh, Tina something. Using range drops in the laboratory. That cash can be used to purchase items. That cash will be removed. Okay. Last ship. The boost main body attack by 5% when you have less than 50 in that cash. Again, is that just per the stage, or is this a permanent upgrade? I'm gonna buy... Pay 50 to... Gain back my health. That sounds nice. From the shelter. I really am unsure if this goes away or not. But I guess that's just something once we know it, we know, right? This costs 100. Hello. Pris Blackhand. Hello. I'm M. Sister Beautiful. Hmm. I won't give you a discount no matter how sweet your words are. Uh, all right. Sure. We have some elemental mutations, apparently. All box. Randomly obtain an elemental skill damage mutation. There's a 20% chance to come with an additional debuff. 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 So I can either choose an element or gain a random one. Half box A. Randomly obtain an element damage mutation of a normal attack or Valkyrie skill. I have no idea. If there was something like fire. Not sure if I can only choose one thing. Let's get this. Fire, Valkyrie skill damage plus 10%. Nice. Can we just buy all? And this costs 100. What is this? Select items to improve abilities. Weapon skill, spiral, icicle. This is the LT. Weapon skill launches a spiral icicle attack that deals ice damage on large area. Or I could now use my one item to randomly redraw. Fair enough. Okay, there. This would replace my dash ability. Fair enough. Ice circle improves the, the uh, adaptability to ice. Fair enough. Uh, range slash damage. Guess we want to have this then. So straight up upgrade on this attack. Got it. So M sister beautiful. Sure. I guess as these are not costing that much. I mean, just twenty percent chance for debuff. Other than that, it always seems to be an upgrade, right? So just buy all. Fire dash skill damage, 10%. Wind Valkyrie skill damage, 10%. Fire weapon skill damage plus 10%, but fire dash skill damage now minus 10%. Okay, fair. This costs 30. Ice Valkyrie skill damage, 10%. Nice. Thunder dash skill damage plus 10%, but also thunder dash skill damage minus 10%. Okay, this is just great. This is a little bit uninspired, if I'm honest. Like, at least make sure that the debuff is something else, just this, instead of the same stats on possibly the same skill. Regardless, Wind Valkyrie skill damage plus 10%. Nice. Okay, um, bye bye. Let's go to the next stage survivability or recovery enhancement. Uh, enhancements ni sounds nice. Please use it recently. So, if we die, we lose all our money. Fair enough. Saving up a left corner. She's something saying something, but I have to concentrate on fighting. Uh, press the buttons and shoot. What do you mean by normal? I guess our character has just said something. Oh, I couldn't dodge that. I committed to the attack. I couldn't dodge that. 
Let's actually see if I can block this by chance. I'm gonna try this out. RB to block. Come on, my friend. Nope. Oh, there we go. Also like a parry and that kinda rebuffed him. Interesting. Oh, great. Oh, that worked, kinda. All right, let's... This is apparently... Come to me, whoever you are. I'm at the Metar Data Center. I'm close to mastering the nanopartikel method, but I needed Dr. Garcia's help. You have to be quick because the electricity won't last long here, believe me. I will give you a... something. Oh, there's some blood on the ground as well. Cool. So, get this. Didn't give us anything. How mean. How about this? All right, let's go. Enemies? Yeah. Okay. Ice attack! Wrenched! Oh, mate! No, 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 no! I want to do this special attack, because this gives me money, right? There we go! Hey, we cleared it all. I think, did I just gain money? I think so. Also, upgrade. Cool. It's Ceramic Bone Scraper. There's a 35% uh, chance to recover 3 HP after weapon skill crit attack. Airdrop charging pile. When combo hits reach 35, there's a 15% chance to summon the energy recovery array, which will automatically recover energy in the array for 10 seconds. Cooldown 300%. Backup battery. Reduces skill cooldown by 20% after killing enemies with the boss transformation skill. I have no, don't know what boss transformation skill is, but that sounds good. Let's take this. Maybe it's good against bosses. That's kind of my assumption right now. Okay, let's move on. Security center, fire artifact, or ice artifact. Oh, fire, I guess. If we have to choose between these two. Hello. I'm ready to combat you. There we go. Uh, wait. Fire! There we go. Yeah, once you commit to an attack, you are committed. You better believe that. There we go. Hey, I'm kind of made a... Perfect dash there somehow. There we go. Super attack. Oh, I see you. This is what I have to destroy for enough. Clear! Right. I'm surprised that there's no, like, visual uh, audio cue once you cleared an area. She says something, but frankly, I can't, I can't read that in time. I'm not even going to try. I wonder if this is an enemy again. P. Last time I hit this thing and something happened. This time it just exploded. Interesting. Okay, let's move on. 260 HP. I actually took quite a bit of damage, apparently. Whoa! Oh, wait, is that a super boss? I have not here. Shoot! Sometimes he summons a bow, but frankly, I haven't... Oh, wait, there's spikes. I haven't understood when he does that and when he doesn't. Termination skill, I think. Gimme, gimme. Okay, weapon skill, this is a replacement, this is, I guess, fire armor then. Alright, um, okay, good thing they don't activate once you clear the stage. What is this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is perfectly in frame. <laughs> uh, Garcia, hyper, continue to analyze the nanostructure of the artifact and compare and analyze the correlation between the structure diagram and the company's experimental nanostructure, hypermind. Okay. Analyzing. The analysis is expected to complete it in 30 hours, 32 minutes, and 40 seconds. Garcia, use all your computing power. Computing power boost authorization code B45R213R59. Hypermind. Okay, doctor. The most recent estimation of the time required until the analysis is completed is 80 hours, 59 minutes, and 12 seconds. What did the time increase? The nanostructure of the artifact is constantly changing, doctor. Send me the topological map. Okay. Doctor, the network speed is decreasing rapidly. Doctor, are you there? Doctor, are you there? Doctor, are you there? Uh, okay. Some probably important lore, I assume. Hey, the run thing again, but this time on a wall. Okay, another choice. Ooh, boss skill, weapon badge. Uh, boss skill sounds nice, but what is a weapon badge? Let's check this out first, because I would assume a boss is coming up soon after that anyway. Maybe. Clear this. What is this? Check the protective clothing. Carry and turn on the locator. External operation shall not exceed two hours. Okay. Check your serious information for me. Says me. No, oh, don't go in there. Hello, enemies! Good hit. Dodge. Oh, wait. How? Freaking homing missiles. Not nice, dude. 
Termination skill. I don't even know when that triggers and when not. So, no idea, honestly. CLM, okay. Go. Clear. We did it, team. Okay. There's this. This backup experimental instrument is still outputting data nonstop. The original mimicry efficiency is na uh, of nanoparticles is 80%. The target mimicry efficiency of nanoparticles is 10%. Enough. The music still kind of quiet, but epic in the background. I'm ready to use the elevator. Thank you. So far, elevation hasn't been an influence in combat, has it, right? Even though that is a thing in the game. There's more blood. Nanobiological control test room. It is strictly prohibited to access the experimental site without permission. It is strictly prohibited to comment on anything you work on. Oh. It's like the structure, like the formatting with the spaces. Is that intentional? That it's just all over the place on this particular note here? I honestly don't know. Might be, might be. Alright, move on. More enemies! I have my attack! Oh, they have a different color. That means they are probably more dangerous. Come on, go, go, go. Power Rangers. I'm not gonna go into the spikes. Ah, yep. oh, you got me. Couldn't dodge there, I think. But we got this. Is this a weapon badge? 37 weapon badge. Money, maybe? Six rules to obeying the boss. The boss is never wrong. If I must have made a mistake, if the boss is wrong. If I didn't make a mistake, I must be fooled. If the boss made a mistake, it's my mistake. If the boss doesn't admit to making a mistake. In short, the boss is never wrong. This is an absolute truth. Fair enough. That's how I would run my company. Okay, now. The boss skill. Oh, nice. Change of music. I like that. Okay. Are you ready for a boss? Probably not. Let's go on. Retrieving information about Garcia completed. Description information about Garcia failed. No authorized to something. Output. The query system receives. It's gone. 2084. Am I dreaming? Uh, my head hurt like crazy. Like, how is a human supposed to read this in time? Like, seriously. B. Boss room. Oh, man. We have a frog room. I'm ready. Metal Beast. Mutation level 3. Special attack. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. I saw that. Oh, that is actually not what I wanted to hit at. I'm gonna use this. Oh! Oh, oh! How was I supposed to get that in time? Oh, wait, what? Range attack? Not cool, dude. Shoot her! Oh! There we go! Ranged! I think he's stunned. He's not stunned anymore! Oh no! 13 HP! When did that happen? Help! How? How? Oh man, we almost got him. Don't wanna lose! Okay, let's wait. Bait out and attack. Oh! Whoa! We did it. Wrath of Crete. So it's the Metal Beast with a reputation level 3, and it also seems to have a name. That's a lot of inma information on just one boss, or why was there a reason because the introduction had a different name than the uh, of Crete name in the boss fight? So what we had. Um, press B. Select items to improve abilities. Reckless Spleen. Turns into Wrath of Crete for a short time and dash. Oh, that was the enemy, right? Push Propeller. Increases movement speed by 2%, but temporarily, uh, temporarily disappears when attacking monsters. 2% is like nothing. Wow. We could also randomly redraw, but I guess... Man, is this even a choice? Like, seriously. <laughs> Turning into a boss monster sounds way cooler than occasionally 2% movement speed increase. Like, wow. Hmm, I wonder what it takes. Let's actually try this out. Oh, it costs 300. Transform into a boss and unleash a powerful attack. Nice. Okay, let's try this out! I will transform! Well, that makes us super slow. Kind of slower. <laughs> Interesting, like, it seems cool, to, and I like that we can transform into a boss, but us, us also seems to have changed our visual style. We now have the Minotaur horns there. But, yeah, when I turn into this boss, with, which has a rush charge ability, I am seemingly move slower than my main character's speed is. Wait, there we go. Start. Elevator down. Or up. Never mind. Thunder artifact, ice artifact. After upgrade, select... Okay, there we go. Next stage. Ooh, a katana. Wait, but there's enemies. 
I have like 13 health. No idea if I can even survive this, honestly. Can I pick up... Oh. <laughs> kind of wanted to see if I could pick up this katana in the midst of combat. Character level 4. Trophies 5. Z cash 126. Total time 36 minutes 45 seconds. Z cash will be cleared after death. And now we are here in the hub menu, I suppose. We have... Uh, are back to our main skills. Can we vending machine? There we go. Harpoon impact spear for 300. Okay, this is where we need these weapon badges. They are the meta game currency to upgrade, uh, to unlock new things or upgrade us. Curl mark. Every mark increases defense by five. You can purchase by, sorry, can be purchased by 20 times and can remain effective permanently. You can purchase it if you think the game is too difficult. Think the mark cannot be cleared. This is a super weird phrasing. I mean, I read this weird, I admit that. But, so this is, off, you think, you give me a currency, this makes the game easier, but you literally tell me you can, you should do this only if you think the game is difficult. That is, that is legitimately a weird way to have that sentence here. Also, obtain a new Valkyrie weapon. Um, minus or dash umbrella, is that supposed to be a smiley here? Umbrella Iron Staff. Caramark. Okay, I guess I have... Okay, they take a slot, though. And I would assume we don't have... Um, in Indefinite... Uh, we have just a set number of slots. My English sometimes. There we go. Tips. Released only part of the content. It is expected that the full version will be launched on 23rd of February and more new chapters, more new weapons, equipment, special effects, and improved and enriched collaborative gameplay will be law. Maybe launched. Fair enough. Arrow 404, not found. Fuck the... Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. F the something. It seems like we can interact with that graffiti. Is that something here? Locker. Okay, warehouse. Primary backpack. There seems to be some inventory management going on here as well. And there... Apparently we can do something there with the locker. The shelter. But that doesn't do anything. That just saves us. I guess this overall thing is maybe the shelter. Monster gallery will be turned on when the main story is cleared for the first time. You can insert parts with appearance or battle effects or advanced. Okay. Weapon. Main weapon. Protagonist weapon. Sorry. High tension python blade. Okay. Clear chapter one. Clear the shelter one time. Clear chapter four. To maybe give it upgrades or different versions, I would assume. Sub weapon, Valkyrie weapon. Okay, that gives us some customization. Also, apparently, there's. I hope these are not just achievements like these deal a total of 100,000 damage, but also like they unlock like some extra abilities or so. Like the more you use certain weapons, you, or you have an incentive to use them more to make them also stronger. Function modification. Level 4 available modification modification 3 n points. <laughs> Reset all modifications. Um this cost I have no okay, wait, I do have three points. So like maximum HP, improve this by 50. Enhancement, automatic energy recovery value one, whatever that means. Fight for two hours with just five minutes of charging. That is speci weirdly specific. You won't see it, but you can feel it. Energy cost minus 10%. Prosthetic lubricant. Okay. So some other more upgrades. That's always nice. Is there anything here? No. Ah, there's a person. Hello. How are you doing? Garcia. Oh, that's the Garcia. Who are you, Dr. Garcia? It looks like your condition is better than I expected. But I... There seems to be too many spaces. I'm quite busy now. You can ask only three questions. Why so weirdly specific? Yes, but you should call me Sir Garcia. Why Sir? Didn't everyone else say doctor before? Who am I? Memory loss is pretty normal. According to the record, you volunteered to upload your consciousness in 2023. And there's the missing space we had for, <laughs> where we had one too many before. And you choose to make all the other info confidential. But these are not important. You need to be aware of your quest for now. Go to the data center and connect to the supercomputer. Why am I here? What happened? Those mutant metal monsters besieged you. Most of the staff here have died. You need to follow my command, or we both will die here. I have some other questions. Don't, too many space, waste my time. You need to do it first, and then learn by doing. 
Wow, that is legitimately doesn't feel to talk to her. I mean, first off, the English is all over the place. Second off, like, yeah, do, do I have to explain why this doesn't feel rewarding to have this talk with a character that is apparently not nice and not nice to interact with? Regardless, so that's just a minor thing. That conversation I don't like to see and how that was uh, made regardless. So I guess this is where we go back to the main area. But there was still this graffiti on the outside I couldn't interact with, right? I saw the exclamation mark. How do I do that? This is important right now, guys. How do we get outside? Oh, right there. There's a door here <laughs> that I missed. Okay, fair enough. No equal rights, no reconciliation. Fair enough. All right. So we can move on the outside here. And that does... Okay. We can move on the outside. Fair enough. So just to make sure. Do I have... I can still use my abilities here. Fair enough. And this brings us back nanotechnology experiment center to start a new battle. Okay, let me think about it. Fair enough. Then we could start it all over again because it is meant to be an action roguelite roguelike. Fair enough. So what's my final first impression after having played this now for apparently 36 minutes and a few seconds on my first run? Oh boy, this is rough. I mean, I always want to be honest, but this... Considering that this game is um, coming out essentially when I record this tomorrow and this demo is going to give you a first impression shortly before the release. If I remember right, I'm, in fact, I'm going to tap out the game right here for a second and look at the official Steam page. Um, and it doesn't seem like this game is supposed to launch in early access. If you would tell me this is just a pre-alpha build, uh, build and this game is going to launch in early access, I would say, okay. There is a foundation there. All of this is very rough. I'm gonna be honest here, it's very rough. And pretty much all of the aspects on the game, in my opinion, need to be polished up. Quite a bit even. I, well, maybe not the art style and the music in general. Nice choice of music and the art style. Look at this. It's kind of clear. It's nice. The enemy design is cool. The character design is cool. Maybe it would be nice to... Maybe, ah, well, that's... We don't need to zoom in, right? That is just... Would be nice to have a look at the different models, but overall, yeah, visually, fine. Music is fine. I feel like audio design in general could be improved, also uh, be polished up there, frankly. The combat feels very stiff. Again, that's what I tried to convey earlier. It's always kind of hard to um, say and talk about this because this is something um, you notice pretty much immediately in these games once you play it. But I'm not sure how clear it is once you, you know, for you guys watching the videos. The dash is essentially one directional. It would be nice to maybe have some float or it also seems like... It takes a socket and really feels like I am on a track, like on a train. This locks you in. Um, the quick slash kind of works because we can kind of, you know, choose a direction. Feels a little bit stiff, but this is actually the best in how it feels. And the heavy attack, okay, sure, it's kind of like a, it seems to be a heavy attack. You stand still and then you have a... Yeah, this heavy attack. This is a bit, a little bit slower, but co uh, all things considered, also kind of fast. But overall, these abilities really are a commitment, as I said earlier. I like the idea. I like the variation. This game really seems to go. Um, also, if we take this at uh, face values from the tips, luckily it actually changes up the tips. So no, it's just it's no February. There is the computer glows faintly. This is the only actual sound and tips, but that is not a tip. And this is just check out the Discord. So yeah. this prompt is actually lying. This is has no tips for you at all. It just is a little bit of, you know, check out the full game, check out the Discord and some flavor text to it. Um, yeah, the combat feels stiff. That really needs to be polished up. I'm so I don't want to be sound too negative, but this would be a deal breaker for me at a full game. I would be a bit more lenient uh, in in early access game where this can be polished up and i'm a bit worried about this and how much the developers keep uh gets to that you know once the game has been released if this is 
again, this is the demo right before it. Maybe the the release will be completely different and there everything has been polished up. Actually, if we go to the main menu, exit and save the game, let's actually see if this brings us back to the main menu. Because there was a date to the demo version, right? Version 1. Point, double point 404, 2013. So the 19th of February, it seems, which is very recent. Whew. If you would have told me this, this is a somewhat older demo, um, I would have frankly believed that. Again, I don't want to sound too negative, I don't want to bash the game, but again, pretty much all of the aspects of this game I've seen are very rough, very rough, and needs quite a bit of polishing. The grammar, the formatting, the intro sequence, which I couldn't read, I tried. Frankly, I tried to read this in, uh, in time. Also, the in-game dialogue between the main character and the AI during the game would be nice if there was some audio design to accompany this. Would be nice if there was voice acting, but that's always optional, fair enough. But yeah, like you are fighting monsters and then there's suddenly these conversations going on which are disappearing pretty much immediately. So also again no audio design so it's kind of hard to even notice that these are happening as because you as the player are concentrating on the fight going on right and so you don't have the mental capacity you don't have the time you might not even notice that the conversation between your two main characters are going on also like just here frankly i don't like how this has been implemented oh you only have three questions uh, like Okay, I'm just. A, I just arrived as a player. Give me guidance. Even if you want to make a character unlikable, uh, maybe not like this, because this feels like you want to be unlikable not to the character but to the player. But maybe this is just a personal nitpick on how I interpreted this. I didn't like that conversation going on, but that might be just my personal preference. I can acknowledge that. But yeah, this has been Metal Mutation, ladies and gentlemen. This game, when you watch this video, is coming out today, maybe later. Again, action roguelike style with all this, these customizations, even though what we've seen were very basic. Also the shop, maybe with the variations, with the pricing. All of that, frankly, feels very early access to me. And pretty much all of these uh, aspects need to be polished up. The different abilities, how they work, how they feel mostly, what you can buy in the shops. Like we had this one thing, gives you a 20% chance of a debuff. So I bought this upgrade, which gave me the exact same debuff as it was the buff. Like what the hell, sorry. <laughs> Would be nice if the debuffs are actually something else instead of damage upgrades. Also damage upgrades like 10%, this 10% win there, it's just very unoriginal frankly but if you do and that's it if you choose to do that which is fine again you might as well give me different debuffs you know like two percent less movement speed or something or you are taking getting less pickups of money or something else completely different but giving you the same debuff as the buff which is already not that original feels kind of as an insult to me personally but so take that with a grain of salt if i rant uh, about that again that was just might be me uh, i can acknowledge this but yeah ladies and gentlemen this has been metal mutation please tell me what do you think of my presentation have i been too unfair to this game maybe even too nice i'm always happy and very appreciative of all kinds of feedback so please give it to me what do you think of my presentation what do you think of metal mutation i'm honestly interested um, maybe you have played the demo maybe the ga full game um, is coming out completely different um, and i need to check this out in the future please tell me this but also make sure at the end of these videos you always always have two very important homeworks first off stay awesome Thanks for watching. Second off, share this with a friend, William. And now we are going to see each other right in the video in a second. Zag out. Bye-bye.